I wish to thank all of you for the invitation to grace this monumental historic event, not only on behalf of the African National Congress, but also for all former liberation movements, uh, sister parties. We are greatly honored as ZANU-PF to present this solidarity message on behalf of all the sister parties and other fraternal political parties here in present. Allow me to honor the presence of the following. His Excellency, the President of South Africa, Comrade Cyril Matamela Ramaphosa, Secretary Generals and uh, leaders of the former liberation movements, sister parties and other fraternal political parties. I also recognize the presence of our former president, Comrade uh, Jacob Zuma. There are ministers and government officials, our hosts, the ANC and all its affiliates, members of the diplomatic corps here in present, comrades and friends, and all distinguished guests that have been invited to this very important occasion. The launch of the Oliver R. Tambo School of Leadership is a historic moment that inscribes the dawn of a new revolutionary epoch, which is fundamentally premised on building an ideological, intellectual, and organizational capacity of its members. The establishment of this institution is motivated by a bid to preserve the historical revolutionary legacy of our liberation for generations to come. Comrades and friends, we remain cognizant of the fact that our account with imperialism and the victory over it thereof has led to a series of efforts that seek to bring into sharp focus integral dynamic institutional and organizational establishments that will inform our future generations of our history with colonialism and the joy that came with us uniting together against a common foe. Today, we exhibit the comradeship of the past by uniting and focusing our resources to establish institutions such as OR Tambo School of Leadership that will preserve our history and foster cohesion in our society. It is my singular honor to note that Oliver R. Tambo, together with other liberation icons like Malimu Nyerere, the heritage tape of Zimbabwe, among its many others, stand at the center of our liberation struggle in Africa. It is therefore a humbling experience to witness such an auspicious honor of an icon that played an integral part in the liberation of not only South Africa, but in our region as a whole. May such acts of true comradeship and pan-Africanism continue uniting us as fraternal brothers. Comrades, Despite many socio-economic challenges that we have continuously faced in our region, neo-colonialism and the regime change agenda have wantonly remained as existential threats to our history and survival as former liberation movements. Regime change strategies have penetrated our respective borders through various means which include non-governmental organizations, media, trade unions, and in some cases, student movements. Through these foreign-funded anti-establishment institutions, regime change architects have managed to psych our people into violent protest against us curate their sanctions agenda and subsequently suffocate all development efforts to discredit our legitimate existence in power. The onslaught of dividing all of us as a united Africa continues unabated and our enemies continue reshaping themselves into different forms. The new strategy is one of brother fighting another brother. Black on black, violence is manifested in the resurgence of xenophobic attacks of fellow African brothers and sisters. Therefore, it is the ideological orientation which all our people should be made aware of that our revolution for liberation was premised on achieving oneness, tolerance, and the Ubuntu as golden values as espoused by our erstwhile founding fathers like Oliver Tambo. Julius Renyerere, Nelson Mandela, Robert Mugabe, Sam Nyoma, Samora Machel, just to name a few. It is therefore critical that the curriculum of our schools 
of ideology or leadership should entrench grassroots awareness programs to inculcate teachings on tolerance, pan-Africanism, and Ubuntu as cornerstones. Neglect of this could lead to unnecessary destabilization of our region and fragmentation to the benefit of anti-establishment forces who clandestinely foment and thrive on these contradictions. As such, the establishment of such ideological or leadership schools will act as a buffer against these efforts by creating a sense of awareness to our people and constructing a participative political culture where our people will be well informed and actively involved in our political processes in a manner that is free from external influence. We are grateful to the Communist Party of China who have continued to support our cause from the time of the liberation struggle up to the present. Their unwavering support, which is encapsulated in their foreign policy ideology of win-win, has seen the commencement of the Julius Mualim Nyerere School of Leadership in our sister country in Kiba, Tanzania. This project will be carried out with Chinese financial support at an estimated cost of 45 million US dollars over a two-year period. Gladly, this will be the biggest ideological or leadership school in Africa, and more of these schools will be rolled out in future in other sister countries. As former liberation movement sister parties, we extend our heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to President Xi Jinping for his steadfast and untiring support to us. Surely, China is a regional partner, as we put in Zimbabwe, they are our all-weather friends. Comrades, ideology as a collection of normative beliefs should continue to unite us not only at a theoretical level, but at a supernatural level that transcends beyond the existence of our liberation ties. Ideological and leadership institutions, therefore, form the core of our metamorphosis as movements, and this will definitely ascertain our eternal existence. Consequently, our divine mandate is to shape and influence positive perceptions about our national and continental development and establish a strong sense of belonging or ownership that is informed by our history. Let us further utilize these institutions and strengthen our regional diplomatic relations and accelerate our socio-economic development through regional integration and cooperation. Let us institute deliberate efforts towards training cadres who are equipped with leadership skills, history, ideology and political principles. This fellow conference will equally strengthen our unity and cooperation in liberating African economies from the appendages of colonization. Our history will forever define the essence of our being. Hence, it should guide us in interpreting the world as it represents or presents itself to us as former liberation movement. Sister parties is characterized by neo-colonialism, stunted socio-economic development, climate change, natural disasters such as Cyclone Idai that has ravaged our people mainly in Mozambique, Malawi and Zimbabwe. Regime change efforts among as many others uh, subsequently led our schools like O.R. Tambo School of Leadership promote interactive discussions on how we can address our current challenges in order to generate sustainable future economic, social and political gains against this media. As the Secretary General of ZANU-PF and on behalf of all liberation movements, we declare our commitment to the success of all other type of school of leadership. With our expertise, we will avail our, all our knowledge in ensuring that this monumental institution is able to stand the test of time. The President of Zimbabwe, His Excellency Comrade Idim Nangakwa, has expressed his support for this event and has sincerely noted the significance of establishing an OR Tambo School of Leadership as a revolutionary and groundbreaking to the preservation of our history and institutional knowledge. We are bound together and history will forever remember us for initiating such monumental events. 
With these few words as former liberation movements, we raise our fist and proclaim the eternal success for Oliver Tambo School of Leadership. Aluta continue. I thank you. Oh, my God.